hey everyone it's me back again with another video now it's all about the hype now and the top chart is taken by the one plus five it's going to be released on june 22 and it is kind of identical to the one plus three but with round and chamfer no chamfer edges rounded corner it is kind of like iphone 7 in the back with the dual camera setup now let's learn from the experts about one plus five the 5 carries a lot of the same traits as its predecessor, the 3 Key. It's got an all aluminum premium quality build, the fastest processor you can get from Qualcomm, and the most RAM you can get inside of a smartphone. But it's also got a couple of new tricks, like a new dual lens camera. The design of the OnePlus 5 is more rounded and curved than the Square's 3T was, and it's going to be instantly recognizable to most people. It's basically a slightly smaller iPhone 7 Plus. The dual camera is in the exact same spot as the iPhones, and so are these curved antenna lines. Now they did add a couple of things. One of them is a new reading mode, which tunes the screen to a grayscale and makes it almost look like you're reading on a Kindle, which is really easy on the eyes. If you do a lot of reading on your phone, you're probably going to appreciate this. It adds up to lower quality images in low light, especially compared to what you can get from an S8, a Pixel, an HTC U11, or even an iPhone. To make matters worse, the portrait mode that's supposed to mimic a DSLR is more miss than hit. Far too often, it blurs too aggressively, or doesn't blur all of the areas that a real camera would. Most of the time, it looks pretty good. Okay, now it's time for the speakers. It comes with a 8 or 6 GB or 8 GB RAM variant, on 64 or 120 GB internal space, and it has dual sense, of dual sense slots, but no micro SD card slot, I guess. It has dual cameras, a 16 or 20 megapixel. The front is 16, the back here is a 16 or 20. The 16 doesn't have optical image stabilization. And the front 16 is directly from the OnePlus 3D. There is a lot of software changes of the sale. So they say it will be more friendly and more fast. And we have to wait till the Italian it comes. So we can review it and share it to you. Ending the video with my personal is it's kinda odd. So let's end it with uh, old school pen test of the OnePlus 5 you can have the idea of how strong it is um, shout out to JRX everything he does all the strength and strength test of the phones let's enjoy slightly nervous that the phone would break turns out I had nothing to worry about the screen does pop out from the frame, which shows us that there is no waterproofing adhesive, like we saw during my iPhone 7 test, but the phone locks out after the pop and does not bend any farther. It's even less flexible from the front side, since that screen is set down inside the metal frame, keeping things from moving around at all. This OnePlus 5 definitely passes. Oh, you guys are finally here. Thank you for staying to the house, and keep showing your support. Give this video a like or the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel share and comment if you have any other queries or the upcoming one plus five it's going to be released on june july june 22 and there is a live event you can see that thank you peace out